All right. Good morning to you. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kenny Samuel. Are you looking good these days? I don't know what. Why are you looking good these days? You're just looking too much fresh. <laughs> Normally, it's just good. It's just good. Are you sure? <laughs> it's just good and good. Diet. I think that your new job, that your new job has been doing you well. That your new job has been doing you well. Yeah. It's you you got your handed too much money. Right? <laughs> Not really. If your government is paying you well, <laughs> we work based on time and we hand based on time also. Uh, I know you work based on time. I also work based on time, but I think your company is paying you well than my company is paying me. I think I need to come to your company now. Not really. It might actually be the food that my wife gave to me. Oh. <laughs> that means my wife is not giving me a good diet. No, I didn't say so. And it might actually be your stature. <laughs> oh, that's funny anyway. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good morning to you. You're welcome. Good morning. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate you coming. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Despite the short notice, you could make you could make it to be here. You're welcome. I really appreciate your time. And um to the viewers out there, I say we say good morning to you this morning. Thank you for every time um cooperation. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for spending your time to watch our videos. And also, thank you for your whole time support. We really do appreciate. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. My words are not enough to say thank you. But I will say, say thank you to you. Thank you so much. So down to the business this morning. I have with me Mr. Ken De Samuel, a good, a, a good friend of mine. And um, he's here with me this morning. So to deliberate and to discuss on, on just like on two issues and um, nothing too much. It's just a discussion. And I, I believe that um, you guys out there, you're going to learn and pick one or two things as a lesson from the discussion this morning. And uh, straight, without wasting, wasting your time, um, what we're going to be discussing this morning is can past infidelity be fully forgiven or forgotten? Can past infidelity between spouse in a relationship, either in marriage, can it be forgotten? Can it be forgiven? Oh, I will, you, oh, you also, I would like you to just drop your comments in the comment box, which I'm going to read and also make a, a reply to every of the comments. So, to the viewers out there, to the listeners out there, we know that this thing is common in our society, in our environment. We know that things are happening out there. People are experiencing a lot. Only the one that could speak out are speaking out. Those people that cannot speak out, they are doing what tends to be the solution for the for, for the for the whole thing that is happening to them. They're doing what tends to be the solution. They, they keep doing it. But let's bring it out here. Eh? To you. Also to us eh? Let's reason together. Let's deliberate. Let's talk. Let's discuss. And let's bring out knowledge. Let's bring out some points that could help the society, that could help you and I in our different relationship, in our different day-to-day -day activities, in also the oncoming singles that will be getting married. Let them also listen and learn from this because we learn each day. We learn each day. And I do say wisdom is profitable to direct. And also it is of the best wisdom when you learn from people's experiences and not learning from your own experience. When you learn from your own experience, from your own personal experience, it, it, we cannot call that wisdom. But when you learn from people, you can call that wisdom. Thank you. So, down to the ball and down to the game. Let's start this morning. Can infidelity that has happened in uh, a relationship, can it be forgiven? Can it be forgotten? Is it possible? I don't know. I begin to wonder if it is possible because things are happening. So I can say maybe it's not possible. Neither I can say maybe it's possible. But I know that um, there's, I have a slogan to myself that there's nothing impossible. It's only we humans that make things impossible for ourselves. God has created us, have, made, have told us that there's nothing impossible. There's nothing you have in mind to achieve that you've not achieved. That means if you have it in mind to forgive someone, it will be done. And if you have it in mind that I will not forgive it, take me, I will take it down to the grave. It will also be. So because you have um, the control by yourself and it is your being, it is your, uh, it is your decision, which nobody can force anything on you. So I believe it is possible. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bayo. It's <laughs> nice coming here. And to our viewers outside, we say thank you. 
Thank you for always listening to us. Thank you for taking your time. Thank you for always attending our programs. Thank you. We are always happy. We are always in love with you. And we say we love you all time. Thank you. you. When we talk about infidelity Mm. in marriage, in relationship, uh, can it be forgiven? Can it be forgotten? There are words that are key points there that I want us to touch and pick one after the other before we can actually Hmm. attend and summarize it in all. Okay. When we talk about infidelity, what does it mean? Infidelity Hmm. is just like a breach of trust. Hmm. Hmm. All right. It's just like a breach of trust. Hmm. Even in family, infidelity comes in. Even mm. in environment, there are infidelities. Among the government, there are infidelities. Mm. Breach of trust. I have mm. a trust in you. Mm. I got you a job. I expect you to get it done. And you gave me time to actually uh, accomplish mm. I what I that. gave to you. And you couldn't meet up as at that time. You didn't give me a vital reason, a genuine reason behind it. Definitely something is called infidelity. But we are not taking it as far as that. We are only taking it within Mm. the home, within the family, within the marriage and in our relationship. Most especially um, as husband and wife, most especially even as couple intending to get married. Mm. Infidelity is just like a breach of trust. Mm. Yeah. And when we talk about forgiveness and forgetting, is it possible for me to forgive? Is it possible for me to forget? Mm. These are two solid words that I want us to to attend to one after the other also. Mm. After knowing that infidelity is a breach of trust, we should also have it at the back of our mind that forgiveness it's normal for any human being who want to move forward. Sorry, in 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 a little in a little time, I I read a book and um, that was pastor. When that was when I finished my secondary school, it was written by Pastor Oyedepo of um, Witness Chapel. Pastor was saying the Bishop Oyedepo, to be corrected. Bishop was saying there that um, forgiveness is a process. It does it, it doesn't just happen like. Um, after you have hurt me or after I've hurt you, I don't just expect you to just forgive me like that or maybe it's possible for you to just forgive me. And we know it's possible, but Bishop was explaining that it's a process. I, 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 I begin to think about it that, is it, can, why can't it be an instant thing that um, you just look over it and just make it happen and just declare it that, okay, I forgive you, that's all. Okay, if you now said you forgive me, Should I take it like that is all? Or you still have something inside you? So what that makes it a process? Okay, when we talk about forgiveness is a process, let me cite an example at which we can all understand properly. Imagine I have a wound now. It cannot just heal within a a single day. Mm. It can heal because I need to call on my GP, I need to go to my hospital. Mm. It can't just heal within that same day. It mm, can't yeah. heal because an ointment has been applied mm, to yeah, it yeah, within yeah. that same day. Mm. No, that's true. it can't just heal. That's true, that that's was true. why the pastor, the man of God said, it mm. takes a process. Mm. And when we talk about infidelity in marriage and forgiveness and forgetting, oh, forgiveness <laughs> also take a process. <laughs> Forgiveness take a process, yes. but I want us to understand that being a woman being, we can't forget. We can't forget? Yes, unless we are dead or psychologically we are not balanced. But what if the um the us in after everything has happened, the person involved which cause the infidelity or which the infidelity happened through him or her? was able to like um um change him or herself and um change the lifestyle and like trying to make things happen make make things balance just try to make everything just look uh, look as if nothing has happened we, in that kind of situation is it not is this still as if no, nothing can be forgotten or what yes nothing can be forgotten in as much we are still in our right senses in as much mentally we are not deranged, in as much mentally we are not 
unbalanced, we will still always remember mm. so many things as we regard our partners, as we regard the relationship we are into. But the healing process that the man of God is talking about is what is your action immediately you remember such? Mm. Immediately, in an infidelity marriage, you cut your wife, you cut your husband, you cut your partner in relationship to be unfaithful to you. And he or she comes out to tell you, oh, I'm so sorry, after apologizing. Mm. Do you see it in the character of the person? Do you see it in the action of the person? Does the motive of the person look positive, positive. to actually change your mindset towards mm. him or her? If that is positive enough for you, the healing is now in process. In process. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's another thing for you to vomit and not going back to your vomit again. Exactly. It's another thing for you to vomit and going back there to exactly. go take that vomit exactly. again. I get that point. I get that point. I think um, it's a very broad discussion and I, I know that we can only just dwell on it for a little while and also just make some points out. But I... I have some point here that I that um, the first thing we'd like us to talk about is um, why did infidelity happen in the first place? What like um, why does it happen? Does it is it bound to happen? Is it a normal thing that it, that should happen in the community, in the society, or in the marriage, or in uh, a midst of couple? Is it a normal thing that it should happen? Because um, recently, let's be very factual and let's be very realistic. If we if we pick out marriages of, of uh, the whole marriages in the in the in, in the whole world or in our society, let's just cite a society. Let's say um, in this our society now, the married couples here. Uh, let's cite them and let's say okay, which percent of them are faithful? Which percent the percent of them are not faithful? Which percent of them still have something beside or after the wife or after the husband? Something else doing with another maybe man or woman or lady out there. We will see that the population of people that still have something again doing outside are still much more than the population of those who are faithful that stick to their wives or to their husbands in their marriages. So what we will say is the cause of this. There are so many reasons that could cause it. There are so many things. But what we say is the cause of this. Is it that people, is it that the law fade away? Is it that the love is no longer there? Is it that the affection is not there again? Is it that maybe the communication between both of them is not even vital or not, eff not effective enough? There are so many things. Is it that um, the feelings is not, uh, is not there again? Or is it that um, maybe uh, I think I, I want this kind of feelings from you and uh, I, I couldn't get it and I, maybe I can get it elsewhere. That means I need to go elsewhere. There are so many reasons that could cause this, which I know. Even intimacy between both parties can even cause it also. I need you this day. You tell me, you give me excuses. I need you tomorrow. You give me excuses. I will just, okay, I might feel like, okay, let me just leave you and let's just find another solution to myself outside. So people just tend to just give solution to themselves for problems that are supposed to be discussed amidst couples. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bayo. That's a very good question. Because if I should look into the question, the summary of your question is what is the cause of infidelity? Yeah, why? And when looking at the cause, it's a greater step. We're going to look into what is the possible way out, which is the solution. Mm -hmm. So looking into what is the cause of infidelity, like you rightly said the other time, a lot of things can cause infidelity in marriage. Uh, communication can cause it. Lot of uh, lack of attraction can cause it, uh, lack of affection can cause it, and I want us to understand something very well mm. that there is nothing that uh, that has a beginning that doesn't have an end. That's true. So, if you don't want your marriage to have an early end, you have to underline an early, early end. end. Mm -hmm. You have to, an early end means while you were still alive, the mm. marriage is not alive anymore. It's not alive anymore. So mm. that is an early end. That, that's, ve that's very deep. That's very deep. Yes. You might still be in the marriage and even the marriage is not, is not, is not even alive. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come there on. are things you have to start cooking. There are things you have to start proposing. 
Marriage is not just for us to just come together and give birth to it. To <laughs> children. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't subscribe to the school of thoughts uh, where people say uh, I'm getting married because all in the name I need a child. I need no, a child. You can get a child from many places. You can, <laughs> you can actually get to uh, get go to a school whereby you can actually uh, adopt a child. You can you can speak to your friends to. Mm. To even give you one of their child among their children to like stay with you. Mm. But what are the things that causes infidelity? Very deep. Within our society. Number one thing there is lack of communication. Lack of communication. Yes. Just as he, just like we are doing right now. Yes. And number two, that I can actually say, I'm going to talk about number one. Mm, yeah. Number two that I don't want to forget is norms in the society. Norms. Hmm. The usual thing. Yes. We all see it as no, 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 come no. On. It's, it's it's come on. It's a common thing. It's I met a young lady not too long. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Work, that's right. You have a point. That's and right. She happens to be a single lady. Hmm. And why she was, why we were working together, she said a statement. She said, why is infidelity norms among uh young couple or let me just say among many marriages mm. in our society, society nowadays now. then i i laughed i said it has not uh, it's not just a day work of today mm -hmm. it has been in existence for a very long time, time. many of our parents get married to two three wives nice. Which means infidelity. Mm. But for the fact that, oh, I'm rich, I'm the head of the family, mm. I have the right to get married. Even there are so many people that they actually be like, oh, because I'm, I have everything it takes, then I, I, ca I can bring in another wife. Mm. <laughs> so infidelity can actually come in, in many ways. But one of it is communication, which I rightly said the other time. Number one, communication. When we talk about communication, what do I mean? When there is a lack of communication in the home, a lot of things get destroyed. A lot of things. A lot of things get destroyed. Affects so many things. Exactly. Imagine the the, the, the kind of woman you have always uh, loved to settle down with. And after a while, you, you found yourself in that same marriage with the same woman of your dream. Mm. And you eventually start moving all around the street and messing up around. What are the causes? Is, is the man tired of the woman or what? Exactly. There are so many things that can cause it even within the lack of communication. Mm -hmm. You can be attracted to, or you can get attracted with so many things outside. Outside. That it is very easy <laughs> for you to like, oh, you talk to your wife. Mm. I'm a man that when I see things outside, when I see things outside, I love my wife to, oh, this is it. I got married to a kind of woman that this has always been my dream woman. Mm. Aside being a prayerful woman, let's put all those characteristics aside. Mm. But this is the kind of physique I like. Mm. Being a man, don't forget blood runs in my veins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I see how I... But this is the kind of physique I like right from mm. my youthful age, right from mm. even graduating from teenage and moving up a bit. You, 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 say, you said something just now. Like before you go marry to your wife, yes. you have you have a, a a a um like um a design, like a kind of shape, like the kind of look, like how you want her to look like the kind of uh, how you want your woman to look like maybe in complexion, in shape, even what in, in steppings, maybe as she walks, the her posture, everything. That means you have a, a style of woman that you want for yourself. Number one thing is I Everything is on God's mm, plan. Yeah, but that's most it. times, God sees our heart. Mm, yeah. And most times, there is nothing. A woman is very, they are the easiest creature that you can easily understand. People say women are difficult, <laughs> this gender, you fear them. I'm so hey, sorry, maybe because yeah. I'm being loved by my mother and I'm being loved by my wife. Right. So that's a, that's a very I good see one. it that's very, very, very easy a very to good understand one. them. Yeah. And the reason is, there are things you can tell a woman if you have a vital reason behind it, she will easily subscribe mm. to it. Yeah, Mr. Samuel, in fact, I was listening to Pastor Mrs. Okonkwo of recently. Pastor Mrs. You know, I, yeah, I, I listened to Pastor Mrs. Okonkwo, but yeah, the pastor himself, 
Pastor Okoko himself, Kingsley, said that once you can get it right, at the point of making a choice of life partner for yourself, that it, you have already got it right. And once you got it wrong, at that very stage, that your life has already been miserable. Hmm. That's a deep word. Because now with you now, it's like you got it right. Not even it's like you got it right at the point of you choosing your own life partner. That is the reason why you could say that women are the easiest set of people on earth. That the easiest set of people that you can deal with, that you can even want to have around you because you got it right. Yes, Mr. Abaya, you you actually mentioned something very good. But don't let us forget that even in the planning of marriage and in relationship, we don't neglect God. Yeah. We might have our own our desire, personal desire, mm -hmm. but most of the time when we see God ahead mm. and we take his own options to, to be our mm. priority, that irrespective of anything, mm -hmm. I might be lucky mm. to have the kind of dream woman I like, but I never neglect the power of God. Mm. But the truth of this case is, when I say women are very easy mm. to, deal to, with. to deal with, uh, when you see your woman, the way you see yourself. Mm. As I'm sitting down here, I won't like anybody to actually cheat on me. I won't like anyone to actually, uh, how could I put it, bring me down. I mm. won't like anyone to actually use a foul language mm. to molest or rubbish me. Mm, yeah. If I don't like such, definitely mm. I shouldn't do it to the innocent woman. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, at times, I think the Bible has everything that could uh, lead us to have um, a good or to live a good life. Because the Bible even says that once you can love your neighbor as yourself, that means what I will not give to myself, I will not give it to my neighbor. So what I will not give to myself, I will not give it to my partner. But let's be honest to ourselves. Do you know that the scripture gave men, men, we the men, yeah, it gave us the most uh, ardent work to carry it out practically. <laughs> and he gave the women, and it's so funny that even it was it is the women that actually that actually <laughs> follows what the scripture says. What am I trying to bring out? The scripture says, uh, men love your wife mm. even as Christ loved the church. Mm -hmm. Can you see that this is very deep? It's very deep. The way Christ mm -hmm. loved the church, he laid that his is life. life. <laughs> <laughs> How many of us nowadays when they knock on our door? We allow the women to go and open the door. The door. <laughs> what if anything wants to strike in and and hurt the, the woman. first person to open the door? And at least it should be the man to at least come out and say, "Oh no, 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 nothing come." And even when we love your wife, even as Christ loved the church, you give the best to your woman. You don't say no. Uh, this one, you it should, it should be good on you. Yeah, this mm. one, you can you can manage it. No, you give the best. I'm not saying you should you should uh, you should you, you should live, live the kind of life that mm. uh, you can afford. you can afford mm. in order to satisfy a woman. No, going out of your way. Well, within your comfort zone, let your woman be comfortable. Mm. Within let your comfort feel, zone. Yes. That's the line. That's the line. Within your comfort zone, let your woman be comfortable. Yes. That's a line, please. That's a line, please. That's a line. Let Thank her you. feel as a queen. There are ways you treat a queen. <laughs> In the palace. Yes. Yeah, you can't just talk <laughs> and molest a queen. It's not possible. One thing people around me knows about uh, my home or my marriage is that you can't abuse my wife. Mm, I possible. will never take. I don't want to know who you are. Mm, you possible. cannot open your mouth and talk anyhow mm. to my wife. And In as much you are not the one feeding her, mm. you dare not talk anyhow. And, and even Mr. Samuel, I believe one thing that, um, you know, with our the hadith says charity begins at home. So I believe that the way I, the way I I put my wife to people out there is the way people will accept her from me. So if I use foul words, I talk to her anyhow, I should expect that people out there will help me to talk to her anyhow, even than 
I do. So you now, the way you have positioned your wife, the way you have designed her, the kind of respect you have given to her, makes other people out there easier for them to also do the same, even do more and respect your wife for you. Yes, because um, the way you present your goods is the way people are going to <laughs> approach it. Approach it and yes, <laughs> cost in, the goods. In my, in my in Yoruba language, uh, apology to those who are at home, they always make a proverb. Mm. That's it. That's so it. the way you actually present your woman matters a lot. Mm. When your woman is going out, it is a responsibility of you. Don't forget the time you were still in relationship. So she, there is something is you it. see there that you that that entices you yeah. to always want to call her, mm. to always want to see her, to always want to take her out. Yeah, all then what is level? All those level. Where are they now? What change? What change? What change? So all these things change because of lack of communication, lack of affection, lack of love to the woman. Seeing the woman hmm. inferior to those calibers of people outside. I, well, yes, when I was in school, I had a lecturer. Though the man never taught me. But hmm. I, I had, I was not there. I had from his wife. They were having issue. So the lecturer's wife is a bit very close to me. Mm. And the woman approached me one day and said, please, is it possible for you to talk to my husband? Mm. That's, and I was that's, like, that's, that's talk big. to your husband. I'm a student to your mm. husband. How could a student be talking to a lecturer, lecturer, correcting a lecturer? Mm. But don't let us forget that wisdom is profitable. To direct. To direct. Mm. And most times, common sense is not common. Mm. That somebody is having the age of a Methuselah. Mm, not by age. It has nothing <laughs> to do with the wisdom <laughs> of Solomon. <laughs> so when the woman addressed me, I asked the woman, why do you think I'm the best person to talk to your husband? Mm. Because of all things, your husband is ahead of me. So he should be the one to talk to me. And this man is a lecturer. Mm. Grown up. So the, the woman said something. He said, I don't know why my husband has deliberately decided to start treating me like a slave Come on. in my home. Jesus, like a slave. The word, I'm not even bothered like a slave. I'm bothered like with, in my home. My home. The moment you bring a woman in a relationship, what she wants is, she mm. wants a conveniency. Mm. She wants that relationship to be between you and her alone. Nothing like third party. Mm, I was I was in a relationship with my wife for we, we got married. Um I, I want to be specific yeah. about the date. Mm. We started our relationship June 10. Hmm. June, June 10, 10 um 2012. That's a good number of years. 2012. June 10, 2012. And we were in relationship till we got married. And we run the relationship for for 10 good years hmm. before we got married. That's in a good number of years. So I took my time. Hmm. To I think, know that, I think uh, sorry, I think the the young adults and the singles are listening. You can hear they dated for good 10 years. And also got married to each other. So it is possible. It is doable. Please just listen and just follow, please. So we got married um, in the month of April. That was 2022. But what do I want to bring out of all these scenarios that happens? Now, excuse me, 2021. Um, what do I want to bring out from all these 10 years mm. of eating, 10 mm. years backward, blah, blah, blah. Yes. I'm just concerned about when you are going into a relationship, there is a, there is something called a lay down rules. Mm. <laughs> what are the things that is guiding you? What are those things that you are mm. actually looking up to? What are the things that keeps you, keeps you in there? Keeps you moving. What are those things that motivate you? 
You can just say you are going into a relationship and you rush in. You want to rush out. Mm, there right. are many people that run a relationship they, they like as if they are selling clothes. They want to go <laughs> to Dubai and get those clothes. So, you know, running a relationship is not being entangled with boredom. No. Mm. She should be free. You should be, be free. free. These are two adults coming together to design life, mm. to design future. future so how do, how do you how do you manage things based on the way you see yourself? Mm-hmm. One thing I've always loved my wife doing to me, which she has always been into it for long, is uh, she's always free. I love when someone is very very free. That's it. That's and me, I'm not the. It. If not, I'm coming online to talk. I'm not the mm. I'm not the type that comes out to mm, talk yeah. unless I'm very close to you. If I'm very close to you, you will feel me that oh, so you can talk. I can be in a place for three weeks, one month, and I will not talk. That's and I it. keep observing. Yeah. But I love when my wife comes to me to talk. Mm. So she has always been doing that. By even most times she gives me ideas. Mm-hmm. When we are into business, we've run couples of business back then in Nigeria, but she has always been the one telling me, why can't you do this? Most times I've run some contracts in Nigeria that she will even be the one to inspire me. Why not apply for this contract? Mm-hmm. And funny enough, the funniest thing is, each time she mentioned those things to me, I don't take it with levity and yeah, because, because I get it. Yeah, success is there. Because I get it. Yeah. There are there are contracts I run. There are contracts I run within 2012. There are contracts I run within 2014. There are contracts I run 2015. There is a contract I run 2016 that she is just the backbone behind all those contracts. She was the one giving me, why not approach this set of people and talk to them that you are able to do this? And I'll be like, are you sure? Are you sure, are you sure are these you sure? people <laughs> doesn't know that I'm doing this? And she'll be like, and most times... In my secret place, after thinking about these things, I'll be like, eh, let's go for it. Possibly God is talking to me through this woman. So let me just pick it up from that's there. It, and from it. there, I'll start hitting mm. little, little. Mr. Samuel, that is why that was the reason why I said in one of my videos that marry your friend. Make sure that that man, that guy, that lady, that woman that you want to get married to is your friend. Who is your friend? Someone that knows you all. Someone that you are always free to say anything and to do anything with. That's your friend. Yes, it's good to marry her friend. But most of the time, God may decide to walk in another way around. Mm -hmm. But even if at all, God works magically in another way around. To surprise you and to showcase his power to you. Yeah. You can turn that person to be your, your closest friend. friend. That's it. That's it. It's just a pity that there are so many men outside there who discuss life issues. They find it convenient to discuss with their friends, neglecting their wife. Mm. 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 And, that's and that is issue. where the problem comes Can't in say. first. When you start discussing life issues, future talks with friends with friends with your whole family neglecting mm. your wife your wife your closest companion you, you start putting yourself into problem yeah. even though even though there are different women why do i say such do you know there are women who will plan for you and there are women who will destroy you mm. Mm. So, if, if, when you notice whoever you are into relationship with, relationship is just like a first stage before marriage. You get to know the person before mm. you, you accept. The, the fact that you accept the person in marriage, you can tolerate the person. And that is forever, forever. You know, it, is only, it is only in our present generation mm. whereby many people actually, I don't want to go to that side, but many mm. people actually <laughs> celebrate single hood like no no no, no. Yeah, i want yeah. my freedom back no. i want to, i want i want to, I want to be alone with myself no no you can't mm. have it all you can't have it all you should be ready to sacrifice marriage deal with sacrifice sacrifice a lot of it you have to sacrifice a lot of things mm. i i used to have a teacher back then um when i was in adwekiti i used to have a teacher uh we attend the same church so he happens to be in the Sunday school department. 
I think he doesn't like one particular food. The same food he doesn't like. Mm. That's the same food, mm. <laughs> ap- w- which happens to be the favorite food for his own wife. Mm-hmm. And the f- uh, the favorite food of this man happens to be the worst food <laughs> the woman doesn't like. They should have checked that out before. So now, how do they manage to undo this case? Yeah, yeah. They they start teaching each other. The man doesn't like semo. The woman doesn't like wheat, so the woman will now prepare a little bit of wheat. Mm. The second day, they may prepare a little bit semo, and gradually mm. they start it having interest, interest in that food. Now, the mm. same thing you were looking into mm. that woman, even mm. after marriage, after you get married to the woman, so and you just get tired. It, that's the more reason why God is putting you there. Mm. God has seen the future ahead. Mm. Something will make you, even at this present time, let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah. The, the, the loving woman, the, 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 my chocolate, my, my love, my, my honey, my everything. Whatever name we are calling them. There are times we just feel like, why? Why? The what? more reason we are, you are seeing that why, that why is just like a question. The more reason you are seeing it is the more reason God has created you there yeah. for you to deal with that, that why and get a solution. That's it. That That's it. That's it. So we are always for ourselves. So, but this back to our point that you have been to- that we have been talking about the infidelity, the cause of it. Why is it coming? Why is it happening? Why are people not holding themselves tight? Why are all these linkages not being blocked? All these loopholes, why are they not being blocked? Why are people just uh, relaxing and allowing this to just happen? With the, uh, the men out there, the women out there, the ladies out there, the guys out there, no one can say, no, I am not. Um, um, yeah, some people, yeah, some people are, are free of it. And some people are just like um, accustomed to it. It's a norm thing. Yeah, you said something earlier. You said some people have seen it like, like a norm, normal thing that happens. And also, in that kind of situation, society also can be an influence to that. Maybe the kind of society I'm living now, or the kind of place I, I find myself living, the order of the day there is infidelity. When you see the, the man living there, you see the man living there having another concubine. You see the woman living there having another concubine. So it has been the order of the day in that society. So they don't see it as something that is bad. So you that find yourself living in such society, if case not taken, you find yourself living life like those people that have been living there before. And before you know it, you, you, you're part of them. So that is where the norms, that is where it comes in. It's just as if it's a normal thing, normal way of life. It has become, it, it, it's, it's becoming a, a culture even. It's becoming a culture because we believe that culture is a way of life. So it's becoming a culture because when people are seeing it as a way of life, it's becoming a culture. And uh, we don't know. We cannot keep going this way. So, thereby we have to look into what are the way out, but before then we should look into what are the other causes okay. of infidelity. We've talked about communication. communication. Yeah. I can say communication in every marriage is just like a foundation. There is no way you can run a home like a deaf and dumb. Mm-hmm. You need to, even the deaf and dumb communicate with signs, with yeah. ends and actions you need to talk one of the way infidelity also manifests in homes is when one of the partner is not getting the right attention mm. as at when needed as at when needed and that is very germane i think it's very germane because, because as at when needed is very important mm. as at you when can't keep postponing someone's need Mm. And you think the person won't look for an alternative. The person will definitely look for an alternative. The reason why some men go outside and get themselves a concubine, get themselves another woman, is because there is a need that the woman inside have not been able to fix, to meet up with. Yeah. Because by the time you, as a man, you were able to speak out, you've done the most important part of it. 50% of the game is mm, done. It's done. 
So it is left for the woman inside to actually speak out and say, oh, okay, let's get it done in this way. Mm, solution. In marriage, there are times that even if you are getting married because of children, you will get tired of those children. You will just want to be alone with your wife. You just want to be alone sometimes. Sometimes. Most times, have you not wondered why couples rejoice when their children are going back to school? <laughs> and once those students get to school, they still feel like three days after or four days after, they still feel like, oh, the whole house is so silent. <laughs> Which means something that was missing has been fixed within a little time. <laughs> and immediately that thing has been fixed within a little time. Anything that comes after is just like a secondary, it's not a primary. Mm. Now, a man, what one thing you should always have in your mind also, even as couple, is why and what is causing this infidelity in my home? In my home. Ordinary food can cause an infidelity. Food that we eat? Yes. Really? Yes. Ordinary food. Imagine <laughs> a woman uh, or a man in my home. I don't see cooking as the responsibility of my wife alone. Mm -hmm. Because I cook even before coming here this morning. I was the one that cooked. So I see some things, some domestic work as this is this is this is marriage. This is mm -hmm. our home. Yeah. It is meant for both myself and you and for our children. Now if we are into if we are in this marriage together, yeah. then we should have it at the back of our mind that mm. whatever that comes out of this marriage is as a result of okay. what we've done before. Yeah. It's just like where I will be tomorrow is by the making of today. The yeah, making of today. Okay. So if I want to have an happy home, mm. it's by the investment of today. Yeah. Whatever thing I put into that home, whatever uh, energy, energy, whatever sacrifice resources. I'm inputting, whatever source resources I'm inputting mm. into that marriage, we help the marriage to either build up mm. or break down. Or break down. So what are the things that can actually, after you have studied your partner mm. and you see that, oh, uh, uh, it seems this is actually happening. One, you have to speak out. But while you were speaking, mm. note, speak in a polite way. In a polite way. Be respectful. My wife will say, uh, don't speak like Awadadiwa. Awadadiwa means the way our fathers used to talk with our mothers. Our Some mothers. of us, we have we are used to it mm. and we just believe we can just open our mouth and talk to our women like that no 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 at this at this generation Listen. you don't just open your mouth you think first yeah respect is reciprocal exactly if you want the woman to respect you then mm. you have to have, mm. have some respect to her you oh. have to honor her the way you want people to respect her outside have to start from you yeah and another thing you have to look into is affection. The way you guys affection. love yourself yeah. before you get married. married. Is it still there? You have to check it. Mm -hmm. And this is one thing you check every, every time. day. Every day. Yeah. Every day. That are we still on the same track? That is where some people are missing it out because they just leave the affection there. Do you know within communication alone, you can actually know what your wife desired ahead? Yes. You can actually know, oh, my wife actually loved this. Mm -hmm. at, at the moment now, uh, there is a particular car my wife used to see, and she doesn't know the name of the car. <laughs> but each time she sees the car in movie, she will either bring her phone close to me or point my attention to that car. Ah. It shows she actually liked the yeah. car. She doesn't know the name, but I have to tell her this is the name of the car. <laughs> So That's within funny. me, I know that, oh, she actually liked this particular car. And I asked, why do you prefer this? Why not go for this? And she was like, no, this is, she gave me the characteristics mm -hmm. of what she likes in that, in that car. And through communication, you can be able to perceive mm -hmm. and know, oh, this is what she wants. Mm -hmm. Through communication, she was able to know, this is the way my husband likes a woman to dress. 
There are calibers of women that I'm sorry to say this. If they if they get naked in my presence, I won't get moved. <laughs> yes, we are all women. Babe. Yeah. So my wife knows this kind of thing doesn't freak this man. This kind of thing does no matter how you move in my presence, it will just look as if a day old child is just on it's one spot moving, moving around. Moving around. So now, how do we also get solution to infidelity Reality. after knowing there are many causes of things? The cause of Mr. Hay is different from the cause of Mr. That B. Is it. So you have to find out yeah. the reason behind your infidelity, behind the infidelity in your home, in your own home, and you look for solution. Infidelity in some people's home can be money. In some mm. people's home is lack of attention. Yeah. In some people's different. home is lack of communication. It's very different. In some people's home is just as if molestation. Mm. The way people all abuse uh, or all violence. Abuse or violence. So thereby the woman can not only a man is open to infidelity, women are also outside engaging themselves in infidelity. A, a woman who has been under a man's roof mm. and for the last maybe let me just say for the last you are sleeping on the same bed yeah. and for the last three weeks the man doesn't touch you mm. and not that the man is under durex not that the man is under pressure he works you works mm -hmm. especially within this country that we are living in abroad okay okay but in that kind of situation now that you just said now under the same roof on the same bed for like three weeks like a month the man did not touch you but what if um you know that this man he normally do this like this is you know that at least once in a week or twice in a week or uh, you know that a week must not go without this man touching me and um for like a month now you'll see like the man is not just doing anything he's not making any move it, what is the place of that woman at that point in time okay at that point in time is very simple you can actually call your partner to attention like what i rightly said the other time yeah. in a polite way in a polite way there are approach to cases you don't because the thing is hot you don't address it in an hot way mm, that's it there are times you can even see things one thing i respect my father for is he sees the way you are acting and it will be quiet, it won't talk. Mm -hmm. That's wisdom. But when you are settled, my father will call you to attention mm -hmm. and talk sense into your head. So there are ways at which we can address some issue. When you see that, oh, this man who has always been touching me minimum of one, one once in a week, twice in a week, all of a sudden just stop. You should find out the reason behind it mm. and once you are in the marriage once you are married it is the responsibility of the two of you to fight and get solution, solution. to every battle mm. in your home in your home no one from outside will come in to yeah. to get a solution for you yeah. it is not possible for your for your for your husband mm. to now go outside now mm. and said i'm not i'm not I'm not uh, sexually moved to my wife any longer. Any longer. And she, she should be able to open up to you. Darling, uh, I'm not feeling this thing the way it used to be. Mm. And you as a woman, you should be able to open up to your husband. Mm. Honey, please come. I don't understand. What's going on? Mm. I'm not feeling this thing. Yeah, I think and you, you will sit down. You will know, oh, what are we going to do? What is going on? Are you are you are you under pressure? Are you passing through mm. any stress? There are things you can actually do to assist a woman that you don't need to talk to the woman that you need her in the night. She will be the one to tell you that you have to do this. Mm. Imagine mm. there are some little things you take up in the home. There are some domestic work you assist a woman with, and she will be very very happy. happy. Because a man just pick up a, a plate, the, a plate of just three people, yourself, your wife, and your child, and you wash the plate. A woman can, because of that, go to mountains and keep climbing mountains mm. to make you happy. To make you happy. Reason. 
They, and you might be seeing it as if uh, what have I done? What have I done? Is it not just to wash plates? We we use it together. So, yeah. me, but you've done s- something within her heart that maybe mm. she has always longed to have that thing, and she got she mm. finally got it in marriage. There are women who I met a I met a young lady not too long, and while we were talking, and I asked her about our relationship. And she said to me, as lovely as my relationship is, my partner doesn't communicate with me. Come then on. I said, who Come do on. your ca- partner Can communicate, communicate with? That's it. Because you have to find out, is this man the type that doesn't love communication? communication? That's a big problem. And there is no man who doesn't love communication. It's key. Just that you've not gotten to the right side of his art. Mm, that's it. That's Where, it. Once you spot the writing he likes, there are men who, okay, maybe what mm. he likes is just football and you, you don't like football. You have to start learning it. You have to start listening to some things. You have to start mm. uh, getting attracted to some football mm. uh, uh, comedies, football, uh, football stuff talks. that, right. that, that you, you, you will just feel mm. like, oh, oh so, my that, darling, <laughs> do you know that that game that was played yesterday, the referee was Pasha? Man, from there, he will be like, how do you know? Or he might not even ask you, how do you know? He might just bo- move and zoom into discussion sure. and say, oh, uh, the, the ref is very passionate. I don't understand. That was why we lose. The, and you will be like, oh, so I you, just need, this. you just need the headline to always know why and what has gone wrong so that you can know how to, how fix, to fix the solution. Mm. There are so many issues around. And um, at times it's sad in the mind when you, you know, at times some people in the different relationships, they cannot take the infidelity. Some people take it as um, a, a medium or a stage of working the way of working out, which me, I don't really see it as, um, as a solution because if you're working out, if you're working the way because of what has happened, yeah, yes, it's your decision. But at the same time, I always believe that there's a place of, of coming together of talking and uh, once the person has realized that um this is my fault and i is being accepted it's just um back to what we just said that let's just take a process of forgiveness let forgiveness take its own process and um after that let's the process of being forget for uh, forgetting the whole thing let it come into place if it's possible or if it's not possible let the person that has happened through it let him not go back to the same old way again and uh, find a way to redeem and let's rebrand the whole thing and let's just move on. Let's go back to our old ways. You know, there are always old ways. There are always how we started. There are always good memories that has happened in the past. Let's let's revitalize this all these good memories and let's just bring something up. Like what you just system. said right now. You said rebrand. Do you know that in homes we can rebrand some things? Mm. Everything has an expiring date. Expiring date. Yes. <clears throat> Even life has an expiring date for yeah, individuals. Yeah, that's it. There that's are it. times they give back to us, there are times you will die. Mm, yeah. So even in marriage, there are times you, you get tired get for tired. no reason. You can't figure <laughs> it out, you just get tired. Oh my god. If anyone should tell you that there will be a point in marriage you don't get tired, it's a lie. It's a lie. But there are things you should do to limit the tiredness to the barest minimum that the tiredness will not supersede mm. your strength. The strength. Mm. There are, that is where your branding comes in. Comes there in. are times you can just decide to like, okay, there is nothing much we want to do today. We just want to start watching movie. Okay, today we just have a challenge. We want to have popcorn challenge. There are things you can just think it mm. may look funny, funny to an outsider. But you have a motive behind it. You have a reason for doing that mm. thing. You need to rebrand something in your home. Create your happiness. Mm, I get that. I get that. I so, get that. imagine in a home whereby the man doesn't talk much. He doesn't talk much. Such a home, you cannot just be bringing in visitor too much. Mm. Because how a man who is <laughs> not free to talk even to, talk to you and to, to his you. wife. Uh, and now you are bringing him another visit. Uh, you're making him, <laughs> you're, you're making him <laughs> uncomfortable. You want to actually keep him in a cage, finally. <laughs> just uh, in his room. <laughs> just and he will just be on his own lane and be thinking, uh, if we think all alone, do you just think people just 
just sleep and while they were sleeping, they gave, they gave up. Because there are things they have thought of and they couldn't go to a solution. And they couldn't say it out to anyone. And no one is even ready to listen to them. <laughs> oh, things are happening. Really. And even in marriage, we should always learn to pay attention. Mm. We should learn to pay attention. There are things mm. that happen that if we pay attention through the actions of our partner, we can mm. easily recognize that. Even this infidelity of the team, before it escalates in home, mm. it can actually show through the action of your spouse. Yeah, these are the solutions that you are, you are mentioning now. Paying attention is part of the solution to it. Yeah, paying at you have you have you have talked about communication is part. Communication is a problem. Likewise, communication also is a solution. Paying attention also is a solution. Let's pay attention. There are places, even as couples, that you can attend. There are therapies you can imbibe, you can bring in. There are counseling sections you can mm. bring in. There are people you can visit. There are places you can just go. You can have like two hours, three hours, just to think about life, just to think about situation, mm. just to think about future. Mm. Mm. That's there it. are times, one thing I always think is children will live their life. That's it. There is a place of the parents in their life. But we shouldn't, because we've given birth, forget the way we start. Hmm. It's very important. The question is, what if we don't have those children? Are we not going to enjoy the marriage? Hmm. That is a, it's, a very good, it's a very good point. It's very vital because some people, um, some people divert attention either from the wife to the children or from the husband to the children. And um, they might not be attentive enough to know that attention has been diverted from the main person, from the main person of, that is supposed to need or have the attention most. It has been diverted to another people or another person in the same family, within the same capture of um, a, a family. Even another thing we should be discussing about is transparency. Mm. Do you know that in some home, uh, the man let me talk on my own gender. We the men. We, we the men. You the men out there. You the men. There are the things we keep. <laughs> we keep it codedly. We call yeah, it we, coded. Coded. We, we cannot say everything now, right? We, can, we will say, uh, <laughs> I, can, I can't discuss this with my wife. She, 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 will, she will take it for granted. She will, and one mistake we make is that women, women think very fast. Because women are multitasks. Mm. I was citing an example with you one day, the, the day we were having one discussion. I said, look, it is possible for a woman to do what? To be driving mm. and to be looking behind through the mirror and be looking after the children while she's still concentrating on her driving. And a man can get distracted while driving. And he's... I, I remembered when we gave birth to, to, my, first, uh, to my first child, uh, I only have one, but I remember when we just gave back to her. And while she start the crash, I need to I put her in a crash very close to my working place so that I can always take her mm -hmm. down there mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, take her down Easy back assist. home. So, and there was this day. Mm -hmm. I think uh, she, you know, being a child, as a then she was just four months or uh, five months. And she needed biscuits like that. And I, 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 I knew she was crying immediately I carried her. But I thought maybe because she was watching cartoon in the crash, maybe that was why, because mm. I took her from the crash, blah, blah. Mm. So I couldn't get those answers to mm. what is actually happening. Why is she crying? But what do I want to bring out was I nearly eat someone who was hugging <laughs> orange that the reason because i was looking back instead of me to look at the mirror yeah. and start thinking what could have happened then i was moving i never knew i stopped moving the car and i was looking back start petting her come down darling i'm i'm coming i will attend to you I before i know it I, I discovered that someone just have to hit the bonnet of my car. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, about to hit <laughs> I have to press the brake and stop. Apologize to the person. But what do I want to bring out that even in the time of problem, 
when you are transparent to your wife mm. before the problem Mm. Uh, before the problem moves to another level another whereby level. you can't get a solution to mm. it the woman might have bring in solution, solution. another example I can cite to you is if you ask 10 men who are from Africa or let me who are married before they come down here I can tell you that 6 or 7 among them will tell you that my coming here has to do with my wife. My wife bring in this mm, idea. idea. Because mm. men sometimes we get carried away we with the present. We mm. are too busy to think outside and see other opportunities. And we are asked, a woman can just be watching ordinary movie and she can bring out like five things that she can do from that movie. No, no movie. And that five things, I'm so sure two out of the five can actually be of help to mm. the home. It will be creative, it will be creative to the home. Yeah, that's you, you are you're right, you're right. So by the time we are mm. transparent on any problems or matters mm. or issues, it is very easy for the person to mm. know to for your partner to know oh what is the way out, what are we going to do? Even there are times that the solution might not be in your custody, it might be in the custody. Of the person you neglected that you don't want to talk to, and you call the spouse. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because there are some there are so many instances in life that um you you will look less on someone, and that someone you are find somebody you are looking you are looking less on is 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 the actual solution to that your present problem at that very point in time. I of re recently I wanted to do something, and um I was thinking of who to call. In my contact list, who can have an idea? Who is the best people person to call in this my contact list? The first person that came to my mind happens to be a pastor. I was like, young pastor, I was like, this person is a pastor. He cannot have an idea of what I want to do. He cannot have an idea. So before I called that person that came to my mind, I've I have already I I called another person. I called like two persons already. So I now went back to that first person that first came to my mind. You don't, you could, you can't believe that. Immediately I dropped the message, not even calling, safe. I just dropped a message. Immediately I dropped the message. I read my message and reply. He replied me, and that response, just a single line response. That response was the answer to my present problem at that point in time. Thank you, Mr. Kendi Samuel. Thank you for your time. Thank you for today. And to the viewers out there, I really thank you, and please watch out for the next video on this channel. Thank you very much.